Okay guys, so I just got a delivery. Um, I was expecting, I think, three packages from HSN today, and then my uh, delivery man or the post office was supposed to deliver two of them, and he didn't deliver anything, and then he came back, and he does that a lot. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Or even with my AliExpress things, you will deliver, and then he's like, oh, I have more. And he comes back like 10, 15, 20, an hour later. Um, Anyway, so he brought this one thing, and it wasn't what I was expecting because, well, it was part of what I was expecting because I ordered an origami cart, and um, like I said, I don't know what happened with HSN. They sent it to one place. They sent it from one other warehouse to another warehouse, and then back to the original warehouse said I... They never even tried to deliver it here. So what was nice about that is that I had used some spendable cash and a coupon on it, and um, I just, you know, called in, and the guy's like, oh, let me check, and then he just got back with me and basically gave me a better price, you know, just by a few dollars, because basically he had to make it work so he can send me the item again close to the same price, so he just subtracted 50 bucks. I got it for 38 instead of um, 41 which was what I had initially paid with tax and everything, so uh, that was nice of them. So I'm waiting for that to come, and um, what he got me or gave me was this one item, so I'm still waiting for another box, I'm sure UPS is delivering it. That has a bunch of craft day stuff that I just ordered. But like I said, sometimes I get things really quick because they have a Fontana um, delivery place. I think they have a Tennessee and they have like a New Jersey warehouse. But this came clearly from Fontana. It got here, you know, when was craft day? Yesterday? Or two days ago? No, yesterday. I don't even know now. I guess two days ago. Um, okay, Mia. So um, this is the We Are Memory Keepers foil pens. Now, this is a very small box. I don't know what I was expecting. But um, one of the things I remember noticing about this, because I basically just ordered it without even really hearing anything about it, you know, on um, the, when the craft cart opened at 11 o'clock, which is 8 o'clock um, my time. And I was able to add the um, today's special and then still use a $20 off coupon off of 99 that they had sent. And somebody had said that they get their coupons really late. I did too. I didn't even know that coupon existed, to be honest. I, as I was watching, I had my computer open, you know, I had... HSN on there because that's kind of how I watch it. I leave like the news on in the background on my actual TV. And an email came in saying, hey, you only have a couple hours left to use this coupon. And I was like, what coupon is this? So yeah, it, had, it was around for a couple days, but again, I barely had gotten it literally right before it was closing. So I just placed three different orders, you know, roughly a hundred bucks and got the 20 bucks off of them. So the only things I did order on the craft day was stuff they held back and they did that on purpose, obviously. Um, Whenever they had like the free shipping day, they pulled some stuff off. Whenever they did this, it was Anna Griffin items and then um, a couple of Crafters Companion things that they pulled out and then they put back up, you know? So just keep an eye out for things like that. But, um, so this is interesting. Is this it? Okay, well, I mean, it was $59. Like I said, I got 20 off of 100 so I added a couple other items. And then I basically got a free, like, die set from Crafters Companion, if you look at it that way. But these are the pens, and um, I'm not kidding. This is very, like, eh. <laughs> I don't know why. In the, I just thought it was a lot more stuff. But okay. So we'll talk about the pens in just a minute. So basically it comes with um, your fine tip, a standard tip, a bold tip, and a calligraphy tip. Or we'll get back to them, because we just talked about them right now. It has this tape. It's basically just washi tape, so that's kind of a freebie. It's just to hold down your... Um, foil so as you use the stencils or whatever um, you know everything's held down it has 20 gold foil quill sheets uh, they're four by six sheets these sheets you see right here there's 20 gold ones 10 silver and 10 rose gold and your placement tape it doesn't have stencils this is weird guys this, didn't it I thought they showed they had stencils maybe I don't know I mean this feels kind of firm let's open this up I know in the auto delivery, they were going to send more stencils and like things like that, but this is weird. I thought, huh, this all feels like foil. Let me see. Yep. So I don't know what I'm going to use. I guess I'm just going to do this freehand just to you know do the review, but um, I'll use some of this gold since there's more of the gold, but this feels just like any foil. It feels like the mink one, you know, the Anna Griffin, um, Crafters Companion foil. So I'm assuming that's probably not something you have to just buy with them every time. But this is the other thing. So you're supposed to plug in the pen and allow heat to heat for five minutes. It says power bank not included. Now, they said you can plug it into your computer, your laptop, any other power thing you have. That's kind of scary. I don't know. So it has FCC compliance information. I'm going to put these things to the side for just a minute so we can look at the pens. I don't know what I think of this, you guys, already. 
And I know you're gonna say, you always say things like this about we are memory keepers. I don't, there's some items I have here, like even the rulers and other things I do like, but sometimes there's items are just so gimmicky and I mean, I want this to work out. Of course it's freehand or even stencil, so even what you do is not gonna look super crisp, okay? Unless you're like just amazing, because you're not really sure if the whole thing actually laid down right, the heat. So when you go to peel off your foil, it looks a little, and even their samples, you can tell it was a little rough, but you know, it's handmade, so that doesn't bother me. I'm just saying, you know, it's a little different. So let's close up just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry for that fast close up. Hopefully I stay in frame. So this is your fine tip. It looks kind of like a ballpoint pen tip. It's a little bit rounded. It's not sharp, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very fine. And then we have, I guess, what is your regular uh, standard tip? I, I don't know how to compare it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you as far as like, but like I said, this one feels like a ballpoint pen. This one's a little bit bigger than that. You have your bold tip pen that is even larger. And then the calligraphy one, which this is the one I was like, ooh, I would like to play with that. So pretty cool. Nice flat, like a calligraphy pen. Okay, so let's see how long these cords are. I'm gonna, try, let's try out the medium point, right? Because I think that's probably one that you use more often. Um, the fine is really fine. I'm gonna obviously unravel this thing. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, that was a nice gentle transition. <laughs> I, I was curious to see how long the cords are because if you have to plug this into a power source, you're gonna need a, an extension. There's no way. I mean, and what's funny about this is that I don't, well, I guess, it, I don't know if you can plug this into like a, like an iPhone charger, you know, the base and then put that base or like your phone base or I don't know. But I have, for whatever reason, um, where did I put it? I recently had, where is it? When I went on a cruise, um, the last cruise I went on, I had bought a bunch of different types of plugs because the cruise I went on only had like one or two plugs in the room and people always complain about that for a carnival. And so I had bought um, a charging base that has slots, USB slots, and a regular, you know, uh, place you can put uh, things in. So I'm probably gonna use that. I'm assuming it's gonna work, I don't know. Um, but it's a nice long cord. I mean, this cord is, Probably, I'm trying to measure it here too. It's about three feet long, so that's a good amount. But let me go get my plugs and uh, we'll try it out. Okay, so I just grabbed a piece of paper again. This one has a little bit of grit to it. It's the same black piece of paper I've been using on all kinds of reviews. I'm just gonna cut a piece off because it's really big, really thick paper. Um, so we're gonna use that to quill on or whatever they call them quills, but to uh, foil on. And this is the thing I was talking about. So I think I ordered it on Amazon, but I like this anyway, so I use it here at the house. Um, I just have it plugged in over there so I don't have to worry about bases. I just plug things into this. Now let me see if my extension cord is long enough to come over here. Plus that. Okay, what do I got plugged in here? I don't know, we'll just unplug all that. So then I have this big, huge extension cord. I'm, I can't show it to you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do again is just plug this into my extension cord. <laughs> and then um, plug in the standard quill into that USB thing. And I don't know how you know if this is on, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see if it warms up. And of course the extension cord wants to fall on the floor. Oh, what a bummer. Let me try and get a spot for it to sit. Okay, try to stay there, buddy. Let's see, oh, this is how you know it's on. I don't know, oh, you probably can't tell. Let me dim the lights to see if you can see that little light there. See, there's a little light on there. Okay, so perfect, okay, so that works. Kind of a bummer, you have to do that whole extension thing, but that's okay. If you had something better, something just right here, like a charging station just on your desk, that'd be awesome. Okay, so it says I have to let it heat for five minutes. So I am going to come back in five minutes as it's uh, warming up and I'll grab some of the gold foil and tape it onto this piece here just with uh, some of that washi. And well, I, I don't think that's something you guys really have to have questions about. I don't think you would, but okay. I'm just gonna put this piece of paper, this down. I'm gonna use this whole thing. What a bummer that it doesn't come with, does it not come with stencils? That's so weird. I mean, did you get the impression that it came with stencils? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to use some of the washi here. 
and of course I have plenty of like AliExpress cheap washi. Um, and I have a little overlap here, so I'll probably just use the one piece to hold down the paper and the foil at once. And I'm just going to, I guess, do a freehand design. Maybe I'll pull out some stencils from somebody else, but... Okay. Alright. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys. I'm going to try to move this. Okay. Um, so it's been about five minutes, and about two minutes I was like, oh, I wonder if it's hot yet. And I tried to touch it. You know how you do it with, like, your glue gun at the tip, just to see if it's warming up. And I... I don't even know if you can see it. I made myself a little tiny dot in my hand. So, do not touch the tips. I don't know if you can see that little... Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I like branded my finger, my hand, my palm there. <laughs> and it still it still hurts a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we'll just get started. I, I don't know about... I was thinking about stencils, but what if the stencil... This is actually feeling warm too. Um, what if it melts? I mean, look, burn my hand really fast. Like, what if it melts the stencil? But you know what? Mm, I was just looking over. I have these stencils from... Um, the IROC and um, these shouldn't melt because these also have to do with heat, right? I don't know, but they're just little dots. Maybe we'll try it. We'll see. Okay, so I guess what I can do is just write with it. Maybe I should stick down these edges too. I don't know, but let's... I, I don't even know what to write. What should I write, guys? Um, I'm just going to write in cursive too. I don't know what else to do. So maybe thank you. It's a little bit hard to see what you're doing past the pen, <laughs> so um, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I wrote thank you. It looks like it worked because I can... And I don't know if I wrote too fast, but it looks like it was... Look, it's stuck down, right? So we're good there. Maybe I should plug in the calligraphy one. I w I'm curious to see what that one looks like and if it actually works because that's the one they used like the least on the demos. So let me plug that one in while we're talking and playing with this thing. Where is it? Do, do, do this one. I'm gonna plug it in. Hopefully, it doesn't short anything. I think it will be fine. <laughs> Turned on. Sorry. Um, they, they. It feels very smooth. I don't feel like I was gonna tear the foil or anything like that. So, oh, oh yeah. So I went to look about the bundle, and yeah, it doesn't say anything about um, stencils, even though they were stenciling a lot. So I don't know. On the video or on the demos, right? They were showing a lot of it being used with stencils, but yeah, no stencils. Okay, so let's just pretend that we're actually doing something with this. I don't even know how to line this up to make it look. We'll just put that there. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm just going to follow the little circles around them. I guess I could color them in if I wanted to. I'm just trying to do what I can to go around these little circles. while the other one heats up. <laughs> it reacts really fast, so I'm like, oh, this is scary. I don't know if it's the stencil or the foil. Is that enough? Maybe I'll do these last little circles. Just those last two. That looks like it down. And these stencils uh, that came with the IROC, they're kind of like that fabric that doesn't burn, basically. So I'll put this to the side. And I don't think the... So I'm going to turn this one off. I'm just going to unplug it. I do like that. It was nice. But like I said, if you're shaky at all or anything like that, I don't know, you know. But at the same time, it's handmade and it's more personal that way, right? So, but if you feel like, you know, you're a perfectionist, I don't normally. I'm not a student. Not much of a perfectionist, I'm not going to lie on that one. Um, I want to touch this to see if it's ready. But see, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to wait five minutes. How long do you think I, I was plugged in? Maybe in a minute? Let's see. I just wrote thank you there. And... Okay, let's just do like a flourish. If it even... Let me see. Uh... I don't know if it's ready, guys. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. In the meantime, I'll chat with you a little bit. Remember these pens I just picked up at Daiso? And it said they're ballpoint pens. And if it hadn't said that, I would probably would have got more of them because they're super cute. And then when I opened them, they smell like pastries. This one smells like chocolate. It smells really good. It's like a chocolate cookie almost smell. And this one smells like a little strawberry-ish, like a pastry, you know, anything that has like strawberry. 
so cute. So it has like a vanilla and you know scent to it. Well, when I went to open them up, I was like, well, let's check this out. It has a little cap. So that's not a ballpoint pen. It's a gel pen, right? So if I take that off. Um, so I was like, bummer, if I had known, I would have grabbed more. There were only a few left. Um, I don't have anything to write on. I'll write on this return um, thing from HSN, which I might be using. But see, it's just like a little gel pen. So really cute. Hopefully I'll have more. And if you guys haven't entered my giveaway, uh, please do. I think it ends tomorrow if you're watching on the 15th this today. I'm going to try to upload this right now as soon as I'm done. So we waited a little bit. What I'm going to do is just kind of write like a flourish with it. Ooh, only because I don't know what else to do. I already have words on here. This is kind of silly what I'm doing. This is basically just <laughs> using this for nothing because I'm not going to obviously use this again. But do you see what I'm saying as far as like if you're doing calligraphy, if you're not sure if the both edges are really pressing down, um, you're not going to get the prettiest design. Uh, let's see what else can I... I don't know. I guess since I'm messing with this now, I don't know what else to do. Um, let's just, let me think, eh, that's enough. I, I don't know what else to do that shows you anything. It's usually with calligraphy, you're going from fine to thick to fine again. So I'm kind of doing that kind of motion so you can see that. Okay. So let me unplug this guy, turn off my stuff here and let's reveal. Shall we guys see what happens? Oh, okay. I forgot. Not only I'm taking the tape off, I'm taking it off of here, right? So let me remove the washi from down here so that when I peel it back, you guys can kind of see. Oh, I don't know. I think it might be a keeper. I was just kind of letting you guys know what I was thinking as I was using it because... And then obviously you have all these other extra pieces, whatever you want to use from there. And you can even use the negative. Let's say you did a little design and then later you can use the negative part. Obviously you wouldn't use it with the pen. You'd have to put it like in the foil press or something like that, but... Um, look at that. I guess you're mink, huh? Well, no, you need toner on that, but, um, okay. So let's take a really good look at this. You see what I'm saying? If you're not really flat, you're going to miss a couple little pieces, but I mean, if you're good at that, or if that's what you like hand lettering, it's going to look cool. I mean, who's going to say, sit there and be like, oh my gosh, they're going to say, oh my God, how did you do that? You know, cause it looks so pretty. You put it on an envelope wherever even the thank you is pretty nice and again that's the standard tip and i think that's probably what you'd use the most the bold tip is probably really nice too the fine one i mean really i don't know what kind of detail you would use that it, it's really small but very pretty and they said they're going to be selling them for like 40 dollars a pen which is crazy so um right now it's 79 dollars on hsn i guess you could use a coupon if you ever got a coupon um but look at that so pretty cool um i mean for the discount i got on it and everything with the today special plus the 20 bucks off i think it's well worth it i will probably keep it i am bummed out that there weren't stencils but the stencils come the next time they're gonna have different things and it's like more foil stencils and like other little items and like card making items or things like that it just depends so um thanks for watching guys uh yeah i, I think it's pretty cool i mean like i said it just depends on you if you feel like you know you 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 uh, enjoy hand lettering and maybe sitting there patiently doing things like this, then, you know, go for it. She showed how if you wanted to put a stamp, like use some stays on ink and stamp on your foil, right? And always have the color up because obviously you need that. So you put down, do your stays on stamp, whatever stamp image you have, and then just trace your image. And then you have a beautiful stamp image and foiled. But, um, of course, that takes patience and time. So, anyway, lots of good ideas. They had lots of fun ideas. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.